purpose of building this greenhouse into the side hill and using all this concrete is to take advantage of the constant ground temperature throughout the year and thermal mass storage. Thermal mass storage is this dense material like the concrete and dirt that will absorb heat and then radiate it back out into the room when it's cooler. So during the day and the sun is shining through the greenhouse will heat up, it'll probably get pretty hot and the thermal mass will absorb the heat and then radiate it back out into the room during the night. It'll even out the temperature swings. I probably have about a hundred tons of thermal mass storage in this construction and it's all insulated from the outside and it's exposed to the inside of the greenhouse and that's what's needed when you're using thermal mass storage. You need direct contact with the air in the room that you're trying to stabilize temperatures in. I ended up at a different supplier to get the concrete blocks that I needed to finish. The other supplier just wasn't able to come through. You know, the promises of getting them, they just didn't pan out. And it's at the end of the season, you just can't play those kind of games, taking a chance on the weather. You can get a nice day maybe to install them, but it still needs to cure and need some time for that. So I had to find another place. That's one of the things about living out here. There's not a whole lot of options unless you want to drive hundreds of miles. It just doesn't make sense. So I found the next place. A little more expensive, but they had them. And actually a little better quality too. But also get supplies from the other place too. But that's the way it goes it seems like. There are several reasons why I didn't use ICFs on this build, insulated concrete forms. I guess one of the first ones was just the price. The price of the forms are incredibly expensive. They probably add up to the amount of all the box that I bought. <clears throat> but one of the important reasons is that while it is there's a thermal mass in the forms, it's insulated. And you want the thermal mass exposed to the inside of the room, to the building. Because that's what stores the heat and radiates it back out, where the styrofoam is just on the outside. Laying concrete blocks is the cheapest way to go and that was one of the main reasons why we were even building this at all because we could do it pretty inexpensively. It's the most labor intensive and slow going process but it saves a lot of money. You just got to have the desire to keep going at it and do it. For ICFs they're pretty fast but they are expensive. You know, they're good for homes. I can see the benefit there. I helped with a I helped with ICS before. They do make a good basement, you know, but it's a and when you get it done you have to finish you know over the styrofoam. You don't want to have that exposed 
you know, that's flammable, melts, and I always feel like these joints. I know some guys don't, but I think it makes a good mechanical bond there between the two blocks. It just it takes a lot more mud though than if you're just skipping them. I need to go get another shovel full of mud. I got one more block to go on this part and three more over there. Then I got vertical rebar every four feet. And the other ones I will fill up with sand again. And then I got to do one more roll, a six inch block, where I put the anchor bolts in. Well, I guess I got to move the camera now because it's clamped to the cement block that I need to put in. But it's coming along. Oh, I still got to go over those joints here and smooth them out. Now I got to do that before I can move my scaffold. So I bring it at that. ICFs, or insulated concrete forms, do have a thermal mass storage once you get the concrete in the center. This is just some pieces of styrofoam I have to show what I'm talking about. And with what I'm doing, I eliminated the interior insulation so the concrete will be exposed to the air inside the room. So that's why that's so that's how it can radiate back out and get use of that. And with ICFs, that's defeating the purpose because you want to be able to take advantage of the thermal mass in the wall to be directly exposed to the air in the room. I hope this kind of explains why I'm doing this and the advantages I hope to get out of this. Thanks for watching.